we're thrilled to partner with an energetic, hardworking brand whose story mirrors our own. Um, I followed Under Armour uh, and the Under Armour story for many years. I'm impressed with their creativity, their technolo techn technological advances, uh, the, and their presence in the market. Under Armour is a modern success story. We think this will be a fantastic long-term relationship that will be both benefit the University of Wisconsin as well as Under Armour. I know our student athletes, staff, and fans will enjoy and appreciate the top shelf offerings from Under Armour. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Adidas for the 15 years of partnership uh, that they gave us. And I also want to remind everyone that uh, we're still under contract with Adidas until June 30th of, of next year. I uh, would also like to clarify the retail value of our new Under Armour partnership, which is 10 years at $96 million. Once again, uh, we couldn't be happier with this new, with this new relationship. I want to thank Kevin and his team again. Um, we're looking for, forward to a, a long relationship with them. It's now my pleasure to introduce the CEO and founder of Under Armour, Kevin Plank. To many, we're probably just meeting us for the first time, and so we want you to know that uh, we're going to be patient with that relationship. As Coach said, we've got you know, another nine months or so to really get to know one another. But for ourselves, we've had a relationship with this great state for a long time. Um, beginning with, uh, for me personally, uh, my first, the attorney who incorporated Under Armour was a, a family friend, uh, a guy named Tom Sippel. Uh, and he was from a, a little town called St. Cloud, Wisconsin, population 497. <laughs> And so there's not a day goes by with a meeting with Tom that doesn't somehow incorporate something to do with this great state uh, or something about a brat. And uh, Tom has been, you know, he's my first board member. Um, he's been, you know, as loyal and deep as a friend as anyone I could, you know, imagine or hope for. And I'm incredibly, incredibly uh, appreciative to him uh, for what he's done. Um, I also have a relationship that goes back to our first retail customer that we had. Uh, it was known as the East Bay Catalog and uh, division of Foot Locker. And uh, their, their president at the time when I started the first account we sold, it was 1998, and we took a little one-eighth of a quarter page in their catalog, and uh, we ended up being the fastest selling soft good they ever had. And we began to break records, and we got to know a guy named Dick Johnson, who was their uh, divisional president at the time, and today is the CEO and chairman of, of Foot Locker Inc., and about to take over for Ken Hicks, who's another dear partner and friend. And uh, if you've spent time, you know, going to Wausau, Wisconsin, and uh, I mean, you talk about the places which is the heart of this country and the things that make you proud, it begins when you get off. And I tell you, there's nothing like going through airport security in Wausau, Wisconsin, where these <laughs> little ladies are, are helping you and making sure that there is nothing uh, going on that airplane, no matter what. Uh, and a few dinners at the Wagon Wheel uh, later, which is their local uh, steak joint in town, um, the things that we have learned. Um, the third thing that really ties me to this uh, great state is Coach Alvarez sitting to my left. And, uh, you know, his vision, I think, you know, meeting him, the relationship, the personality, and Coach is one of those people that's larger than life. And uh, I can tell you it's, there's nothing bigger or more important, though, to him uh, than representing this state and this institution and doing it at the highest level with the highest integrity at every turn. And uh, between Coach Alvarez and, and you know who really calls the shots, which is Cindy, who I started working, uh, working on this long time ago uh, the right way. Um, uh, but we did things, I think she mentioned some flowers that were sent at one point uh, on Coach's behalf that hopefully made a difference in this, in this relationship. <laughs> um, look, it's... Today's another chapter, I think, in our company's story, and one that's uh, a story we're incredibly proud of, from starting in a, a row house basement in Georgetown and Washington, D.C., with $16,000 in cash and, you know, nothing more than, you know, one good product idea and, a, and some friends that I wanted to get my products to. And from that all the way to evolving to being a public company, um, today, you know, encroaching on revenues of, you know, um, just under $4 billion in revenue. And it's a story that uh, I'm incredibly proud of, number one, uh, for my company, for my teammates, for um, uh, our, our customers, our consumer, 
uh, our shareholders and especially our community. Uh, we recognize that with that growth, you know, comes great responsibility, and we love being a symbol of what's possible, um, that you can, with grit and hard work, that you can do great things. And so today's another one of those uh, times that's a pinch-me moment, to be honest with you. You know, looking out at this press conference and having the ability to speak on behalf of now the more than 11,000 teammates that we have at Under Armour and the 66-some-odd countries that we're doing business in today and growing quickly. You know, we are not slowing down. We recently gave outlook at our recent investor day that in just the next three years we expect to come close to doubling our top line and bottom line revenues uh, that would come close to matching uh, the 10-year mark and anniversary we've had as a public company since 2005 growing 30 percent on a compounded annual rate uh, both top and bottom line there as well you know today I think that story of growth for Under Armour you know it, it speaks to to many really important things you know Chancellor Chancellor Blank um, talks about, you know, what is the Wisconsin idea. And, uh, you know, this quote of research conducted at the university should be applied to solve problems, improve health, quality of life, the environment, agriculture for all citizens of this state. You know, we take that very seriously. You know, our own mission statement quite simply says to make athletes better. And as we say, through passion, design the relentless pursuit of innovation. Um, Chancellor Blank also says that there's two core responsibilities of this uh, institution that we understand our obligation with athletics but we also understand there's no such thing as a tactical relationship with just one aspect of any university and uh, the idea about first of all uh, innovation and research you know it's at the heart and soul of what our company does each and every day you know one of which is is now developed in having the world's largest digital connected health and fitness community with more than 150 million people that are registered to the Under Armour community. So making this one of the most digitally connected universities in the entire world is one of the ambitions we have here. And the second uh, mission you talked about is, is preparing your students for the world's changing economy, which none of us can anticipate. And just a, a, a brief story on that is I've got a, <laughs> the theme that we used at that investor day uh, a few weeks ago in laying that story out for our shareholders as what we call the map versus the terrain. And uh, one of my directors on my board uh, is a guy named Admiral Eric Olson, who was a, the first four-star Admiral Navy SEAL. And he held the distinction of being the bullfrog, which is the longest serving Navy SEAL. And I remember one time I was asking him uh, his opinion on a certain topic. And I said, Admiral, you know, I'm trying to make a choice. Do we go left? Do we go right? What are you thinking? Uh, is there something that we haven't anticipated? And he just said, he leaned back and he didn't give me a direct answer, but he said to me, he said, Kev, he said, I always, I always tell my men that uh, when the map differs from the terrain, they should go with the terrain. <laughs> so I've got a feeling that this relationship with the University of Wisconsin is going to have many different ins and outs where the map and the terrain will not be as perfect as we want. But I want you to know that you have a team of people that is completely committed doing everything we can to empower our student athletes with the best advantages to help them win on the field and most importantly win later in life. You know, we are, you know, eternally grateful for this opportunity. And, um, you know, I just want to say from the bottom of our hearts that um, we're thrilled, uh, we're impressed, uh, we're humbled, and we absolutely are privileged to be here and to be your partner. So thank you for this great opportunity, and um, we're going to run hard and we're going to do a great job for the Wisconsin Badgers.